All right, this is a video of a restored Amarola 5. Uh, this is a project I've been working on for about four years. I got this Amarola in 2012. It's 2016 now, and I have finally finished the restoration of it. It took me a long time. There was a lot to do, and this is the first full restoration I've done on a phonograph. Um, I had done a little bit of touch-up work on some before, but nothing this uh, extensive. So when I received this Amberola, the uh, bed, paint, bed plate paint was nearly all gone, um, as were most of the decals and uh, striping. So I wanted to do as little work as I could on this machine and keep it as original as I could, but unfortunately uh, there was a lot to be done. So I most of the bed plate, bed plate paint had um, flaked off. Um, there was still some remaining, but I had to go ahead and and uh, take off the rest. And I uh, went to Sherwin Williams and got some paint that was matched to the uh, paint on the inside of all of the parts. I thought that probably the paint on the outside had faded some over the years, so I tried to match it to what had been covered up from the sun and was not faded. Uh, I had a gentleman, um, Greg Klein, I, before I stripped all the paint, I went back and measured out where all of the decals were and how they were done and uh, sent him the templates and he was able to recreate all of the uh, unique um, gold stripes that go on the Amberola 5, such as the ones here on the gear cover and the uh, speed control indicator there. Uh, the finish on this machine, uh, I wanted to save it, but unfortunately it was it was black when I got it. I tried to not strip it. I tried to polish it up and um, get the wax off of it, but no matter what I did, I just got down to this filthy black layer, and eventually I just uh, decided that I would strip it because there wasn't really anything that you could see in the wood. And so I stripped it and I tried to match it with a, uh, a varnish that was similar to what they would have used when they made this one. I tried to keep everything as um, similar as I could. Uh, I got some uh, red mahogany stain from uh, Wyatt's Musical Americana that I used on it to try to match it. I also um, had to redo the wood grain inside the horn as well as uh, get a new uh, grill cover. This grill cover is metal, it's not wood. Um, you can tell by the width of this slot here that it would have originally had a, a metal cover and not a um, wooden one. It features a two spring motor. All of the gears have been um, ultrasonically cleaned and repaired. Um, there wasn't really much to do. The one unique found thing that I found out was um, when I was taking apart this flywheel, um, I found some really, really tiny holes inside the flywheel sides and also the gear that drives the mandrel. And what I realized was was that there were some wires that went between, that went through the the big flywheel, down through the um, to the gear and then back to the flywheel. So that way when the gear is um, driven, the gear is actually uh, independent. It's, it slides on the mandrel shaft but the wires are what drive the um, large flywheel and the flywheel drives the mandrel and that's how uh, the Amberola 5 eliminates some of the flutter um, is through that setup. So I got new wires in it and it sounds really good. I have a C-150 diamond disc player, that's the only other Edison I have, and uh, with a good cylinder on the Amarillo 5, I think it does, at times, sound even better than the C-150. So I'll play a record for you here. Uh, this is uh, I'm the Guy, done by Billy Murray on one of the early blue Amberol cylinders that has the, the flat end on it. Um, I think this record is from around 1912, I'm not really sure, but uh, we'll give it a play and the reproducer has been rebuilt, uh, has new gaskets, has been cleaned, so we'll see how it sounds.
turn around to say who's that? All the people cry, all the ladies cry, till they know exactly where I'm at. The Kaiser died by noon, the dog wore off my boots, and the King of England cut my hair. I eat a bale of hay almost every day. I'm here, I'm there, I'm mostly everywhere. I'm the guy that puts the salt in the ocean. I'm the guy that puts the bones in fish. I'm the guy, can't tell a lie. I'll always live, I'll never die. In the wishbone, I'm the guy that puts the wish. I'm the guy that puts the smoke in the chimney. I'm the guy that puts the leaves on trees. What's that? Who am I? You know, I'm the guy. I'm the guy that bites the holes in twice the cheese. I make all the laws. I declare the war. I know why the universe is round. Did Columbus know where he had to go? Till I went and pointed out the ground. George Washington and me shut down the cherry tree, and I sold cigars to General Grant. I'm everybody's pa, I'm everybody's ma, and uncle, cousin, nephew, niece, and aunt. I'm the guy that stand on the beaches. I'm the guy that puts the crust on pie. I'm the guy that's far and I, I take a bath and come out dry. I'm the guy that puts the wings on little flies. I'm the guy that puts the hump on the camel. I'm the guy that puts the cork in crew. What's that? Who am I? Don't you know? I'm the guy, I'm the guy that puts the noise in noodle soup. for my fare. Everyone who knows says, look, there he goes. Gee, there's nothing to it. I'm a fair. I've got a million wives who sacrifice their lives just to make things comfortable for me. I live on fancy things prepared by queens and kings. I go to every show admission free. I'm the guy that puts the home in the donut. I'm the guy that puts the feet in shoes. I'm the guy that knows just why the little stars are in the sky. I'm the guy that gives the papers all the news. I'm the guy that puts the heat in the sunshine. I put oyster in the dew. What's that? Who am I? Don't you know? I'm the guy. I'm the guy that puts the kid in kidney stew. All right. Well, there it is. Um, I still have a little bit of work to do on adjusting this automatic stop. The, the F5 was the only tabletop Amberola to have an automatic stop. But um, the problem is, is if I uh, keep the half nut down hard enough to uh, push this spring-loaded um, bar over, then the pressure on the half nut causes the engine to, the motor to be too weak so I'm not sure what I'll do about that I'll have to play with it some to get it working but for the most part it works and sounds good so I'm pretty happy with it uh, but there it is uh, it was fully restored Amberola 5 thanks for watching